everyone. Let's prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace, as humble as I know how, just to say thank you, O oh God. We thank you now for life, health, and strength. We thank you for waking us up this morning, O oh God, and bringing us together once again for another Faith-Filled Friday. We pray, Lord God, that you will let these words illuminate within our souls, Lord God, and that we would exude your light to everyone we encounter on today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome or welcome back. This is Faith Field Friday. My name is Tara. For those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning, thank you guys so much for being here. Let's address the elephant in the room, you guys. It is cold here in Michigan and I have a cold. I know you can hear it in my voice. I just pray that you all can bear with me. I did not want to skip out on doing our scripture reading and writing for today, but I am really under the weather. So we're going to get this going. We're not going to prolong it at all. I do pray that you guys are doing well. Other than this congestion and this cold, I'm doing okay. I'm not going to complain, but I do thank you guys for being here. For those of you that are new, I follow Anika's Creative Closet, her scripture reading and writing plan. Um, it's on her blog and all of this information is listed below. For the month of October, our scripture reading and writing plan is titled Restored by Grace, 31 Days of Scriptures and Reflections on the Road to Recovery. These scriptures, you guys, are accompanied by journaling prompts. After I read the scriptures, I will also read the journaling prompt that goes along with it. So let's get started. We are going to start from our scripture from last Friday, which comes from 1 Peter 5 and 7, and it reads, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. And let's just find our spot here. I'll put this here for now. The journaling prompts also have um, headers, you guys. So the header for 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, Casting your anxiety on him. The journaling prompt says, What worries are you holding on to? And how can you cast them on God? Saturday. Our scripture comes from James 1, 2 through 4, and it reads, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Amen. Our header for this scripture says, Trials produce perseverance, and our journaling prompt says, what lessons are you learning in this season of your life? Amen. This is one of my best friend's favorite scriptures. So every time I see this, I think about her. And um, Sunday, our scripture comes from Psalms 23 and 4. And it reads, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen. Our header for that one says, God's presence in the valley. And the journaling prompt says, how can you find peace knowing God walks with you in dark times? We will go on to this week. I will move our scripture focus card for the week. And Monday, our scripture comes from Romans 12 and 12. And it reads, rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Amen. Our header for that says, joy, patience, and prayer. And the journaling prompt says, how can you cultivate joy, patience, and a deeper prayer life in your journey? Tuesday, our scripture comes from Psalms 147 and 3, and it reads, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Amen. Our header for that says, Healing the Brokenhearted. And our journaling prompt says, In what areas of your heart do you need God's healing? 
Wednesday, our scripture comes from Hebrews 11 and 1, and it reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And our header for that says, Faith in the Unseen. And our journaling prompt says, What are you believing God for, even though you can't see it yet? Amen. I love, love, love that one. You guys, I spent some time on that journaling prompt. Thursday, our scripture comes from Isaiah 43 and 2. I'm just going to flip our page here. And our scripture reads, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Amen. You guys see, I ran out of room here and I just put that asterisk there and put it here so I'll know where to find the rest of that scripture. And our header for that says, God with you through the waters. Our journaling prompt says, how has God carried you through difficult circumstances? And then we'll go to our scripture for today. It comes from Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. And it reads, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen. I'll just stick that here for now. And the header for that scripture says, New mercies every morning. Our journaling prompt says, How can you remind yourself of God's fresh mercy each day? Amen. I am just going to write that here with you guys. Let me see. I think I can make it fit on this line. Through the Lord's mercies. We are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. All right, I will put that aside. And what I do now is I choose one of these scriptures from Friday to Friday that stood out to me the most. And I write it here where it says scripture on my heart. And I am going to go with Psalm 147 and 3. So I'm going to use my paper mate flare. Let's just pull this off for a moment so I can make sure I get this on here right. Psalm 147 and 3. Sorry about my sleeves, you guys. This is my comfy robe that keeps me warm. Um, I'm going to do my fancy first letter on Faith Field Friday. For those of you that are new, I just love to play on words. And for those of you that have been here, you guys already know. So I'm going to just make, try to make a fancy H. That's not too fancy, but it's okay. It's okay. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Amen. Amen. 
scripture, you guys. I do trust everything, all of these scriptures, but I do trust the fact that God does heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. I am living proof of that. Um, and here is where I keep track of my devotional and scripture writing. So I'm going to cross off that I did my devotional and scripture writing Monday through Friday. And I'm going to read our devotional with you today. All right. And let's just put our scripture focus card back before I forget. Okay. We will get our devotional. This is my Thrive Devotional Bible made by Tyndale. It is in the NLT version. This comes from Amazon. So does these tabs. I did this myself, but this is linked below always. And I'm going to put on my readers because, of course, I need them. Especially today, I need them. You guys say a prayer of healing for me because I truly am under the weather today. But we're not going to let that stop us. So we are 100, I'm sorry, we are 292 days into the year. And our devotional for today is titled God's Spirit Within Us. And it reads, but it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. Amen. That comes from 1 Corinthians 2, 10 through 12. And our love letter from God says, Beloved daughter, I have so much to share with you. I put my Holy Spirit within you to connect you to me because you are my child. I want you to know me. I will reveal my deep secrets to you so you can know the wonderful things I have freely given you to discover in my word. I don't want you to miss a single one of them. Read my word and believe it. I am the same God who gave King Solomon wisdom and King David strength and courage. I am the same God who made orphan Esther into a queen. I am your God and you are my chosen child. I have great things in store for you each time you open my word and connect your heart to mine through prayer. Don't miss opportunity to discover life's greatest secrets found in me. Love your heavenly father. And our reflection for today says, everyone loves to discover a treasure. Our Lord has so much for us to discover if we will seek him. We have access to the throne room of God through Jesus. But if we never enter in, we won't uncover the secrets that God offers. Ask your heavenly father to share his wealth of wisdom with you and you will begin to live a rich life filled with everlasting treasures. Amen. Our treasure of truth says God longs for his children to ask for his hidden treasures. And our prayer over here says, give your daughter a desire to discover your treasures. Open her eyes to see, her ears to hear, and her heart to receive what you have for her. In Jesus' name, amen. I love this, you guys. You've heard me say it many times before. I absolutely love this devotional Bible. It really does speak to me every time I open it. So we are going to pull our scripture focus card for next week. These are the cards that I get from Dollar Tree. They're normally found near the register and we're just gonna shuffle them up. Whew, you guys. I am drinking tea and I have some cough drops in it. Um, so hopefully that will help clear up some of the congestion, but 
my throat is a little sore and yeah, I need some healing power. Okay, let's pick this one here. Okay, our scripture focus card for next week says, the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. That comes from Proverbs 8 and 6. We're going to punch that and put it in our planner for next week. All righty. Okay, I think you guys, we have covered everything. Let me just make sure because you know I'm not 100% today. <laughs> Um, we pulled our scripture focus card. I read the devotional with you guys, wrote out my scripture for today, wrote the scripture on my heart, and we crossed off that I completed my devotional and scripture writing Monday through Friday. And I believe that is all, you guys. I do have an announcement um, just in case you guys did not see what I posted in my community tab. I am doing a, another Faith and Fall Flavor series on my channel. I did this last year where I include scripture reading and writing with our favorite fall flavors. It could be coffee, tea, or whatever you like, apple cider, lemonade, whatever you like for the fall. Um, but it is 12 consecutive days of the scripture reading and writing. Um, it won't be in my faith planner. This definitely will continue for Faith Feel Friday, but I am going to incorporate again for another fall season, um, Faith and Fall Flavors. So you guys want to check that out in my community tab and I'll link a picture here of the coffee that I'll be drinking. And this is um, the tea that is also sold at Audi's. If you guys are interested in the coffee or the tea, I thought I'd let you guys know in advance so you can get your hands on that or you can get whatever you like and be prepared to do mornings um, with your drink of choice for Faith and Fall Flavors. I will be drinking the coffee that I showed. So I do hope that you guys will join me. If you want to know more about what it consists of, check out my Faith and Fall Flavors series that I did last year. It is linked in my Faith Planning playlist. So again, I do pray that you guys will join me for that. Uh, make sure you check out the post for official details. And I think that is all, you guys. I do thank you guys for being here. I pray that you will have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, and a blessed week ahead. Lord willing, we will meet back here next week for another Faith Feel Friday. Father God, I thank you for this time that you've allowed us to come together again in your word. I thank you, Lord God, for every soul that has gathered here. I pray, Lord God, that you will touch each and every person in a special way, Lord God, because we know, oh God, that you are our healer. We know that you are our provider, and we know that you are working all things out for those who love you, and that would be us, oh God. We love you. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this Day. We thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for the air that we breathe. We thank you for the internet service, Lord God, that we're able to connect through the airwaves, Lord God, to be in your word together. We thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again for joining me. Um, I will see you back here next Friday, Lord willing, for another Faith Feel Friday. But until then, you guys keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty.